Baja Designs. I caught Doug off guard here. He said, let me get this figured out. I said, no, we're doing it right now. It's just, yeah, anytime I tell him, just give me a minute, I need to get sorted, it never happens. It just came on. So, you guys saw at some point, a week ago, a couple weeks ago, I'm not really sure, when we put the Baja Designs, the LP6s, on the Velocity Raptor unit. Those things were just insanely cool. And, uh, you know, after doing that, this thing has needed lights for a while. I said, can't wait any longer. We've got to get going on the lights for this bad boy. So, along with the LP6s for the Jurassic Park, Baja Designs also hooked us up with a bunch of sweet lights for the Battlefield unit. So, these are going to go on uh, top of the cage, light bar style. So, Baja, dude. Yep, I know, you know, not always the ideal solution in dust. We talked about that a little bit in a previous video, but... You know, a lot of times we go riding, especially at nights in the dunes or something, there's not that much dust. A lot of times I'm leading with this machine anyways. And also, it's got a pretty tall cage on it. It just needs lights on the top to look cool. So Makes sense. We got six <laughs> of these freaking <laughs> bad boys that are going to go across there. And it's a combination of uh, spotlights and floodlights, so we're going to get, you know, a nice long distance throw. We're also going to get some near, you know, field lighting. We've got the mirrors on it throwing light. Like, this thing's going to... Light the entire earth. It's going to look like a freight train coming <laughs> down the tracks that night, yeah, dude. it's going to be crazy, man. So we got these suckers out, and we started talking about how we were going to mount them. So disregard the roof. The roof is a janky temporary thing that was thrown on there because we rode in the rain. Going to build a nicer roof. Anyways, threw these things up there and started thinking about how we were going to mount them. So we don't have a nice roof to mount them to right now. And I started thinking, man... You see those like real Baja units that have a cage around the lights to protect the lights and mount them. Looks pretty cool, so I think that's what we need to try to do with this thing. So Nick and I just got back. We Boom. took a little uh, rip to the local steel shop and picked ourselves up some three quarter inch diameter tubing. I've got bending dies for that so we can bend them up. Boom. Well, that's not the die. Where'd the die go? Um, where did Maybe it's behind oh, it. it's over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this is a 180 die for the uh, JD Squared Bender. Yep. So basically what we're going to do is uh, build a loop, you know, it'll be a wide oval, and then weld some tabs to it. We're going to utilize the roof mounting tabs to mount it, and we're going to have uh, six lights in a row up there. Basically going to fill the whole top of the cage, so... That's going to look absolutely wild and be brighter than hell. Should be neat, man. Like a real, legit Baja look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this will be the most lighting that we've ever had on a machine. <laughs> By a lot. So. so these are Baja designs. I believe they're... Uh, okay, so that's the ones off the JP units. Those are the LP6s. Yep. I think these are what, called XL Pro? So that's an XL Pro. So we've got XL Pros and XL Racers. So the XL Racers are the high-speed spot. So I think we've got two of those. That are going to go uh, out real far. And then the XL Pro, I believe, is more of like the mid-range lighting. You know, so any, we're going to have everything covered. So there's there's an array. Yeah, and, and the possibility to angle them as well, right? Yeah, so they're all, you know, the housing is going to look the same on all of them. But they're going to be, you know, different models. So Baja Designs has got a lot of different models and small variations to match exactly what you need, you know, for your situation. So it's going to be cool. I'm excited to see them up there. Probably take us a couple hours to, you know, fab up something to kind of start to get an idea. So I think we just need to start bending two, make that loop, yep. and just throw it up there and see what it looks like. Let's do it, man. All right. Benches would appear as if we're hoarding, but I promise you, things are getting done around here. It's not the case, yeah. I mean, I spend every you know morning we're out here, probably 45 minutes at least to an hour cleaning. Just every time we work, but then by the end of the day, <laughs> here we are. This is back to a mess. That's how it is. So, anyway, 
think what we're going to start with here, so it's going to be an oval, right? 280 degree bends on each side. So we have a 180 degree die that's a good radius to give us a good height. So we want this to be out of one tube. So what we're going to do is just leave enough tube for it to, you know, bend around and get at least to the halfway point on the center. And then we'll set the length. We'll do the other 180. They'll overlap in the middle. We can cut them. We can weld them there. Or we can cut the bottom section out if we want to put in some other sort of plate for mounting the lights. We'll just figure that out when we get there. So yeah, you're going to go for a 36 inch width uh, <laughs> hoop to hoop, which yeah. means you need 18 inches on the outside of the die here, from, right? Yeah, from, you know, middle of the radius. So right now I got 24 inches. Maybe we'll save a little more pipe. We'll leave some leftover, you know. So that will be And it's been quite a long time since we've seen the tubing bender in action. Too so stingy here. Huh? If you guys cool. haven't seen this, this is a JD squared model three. JD squared model three. Yeah. Model three bender. This is not really an expensive or super intricate unit. The dies are really the most expensive part of it. So yep. I think you got a 1.75 inch die for your classic cage diameter. And this is one that might have came with it, I bet. Uh, no, you no, bought it? all the dies are bought. I bought this for doing snowmobile work. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, the bender itself was a few hundred bucks, and then you end up with usually a few hundred bucks into each die, and then, you know, there's maybe a couple hundred bucks into this hydraulic setup to make it not manual. But You can have it manual, though, and you, you bend thick manual, tubing. And you with can that. do really nice bends, any tubing size you need to, for 600 bucks. You know, high-quality yep. bends, so... Anyways, we're set up. Tighten this guy up. That'll leave us a few inches extra. That's fine. Make sure we don't short ourselves. And then also on the bottom here is like an angle finder that allows yeah. you to know when 180 is. We'll probably just eye this one up, eh? Um, we can put it on for funsies. Yeah, we should be able to eye it up for the most part. But... So that's, oops, that's this guy. Little hookery do here, and then I'm excited to see this ram in action again. It's been a long time. Yeah, very exciting. It's pretty uh, interesting how it moves. I haven't seen it bend small tubing. I've seen it bend big tubing, and it takes a lot of freaking force to do that. Just ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah, doing big tubing by hand is quite the deal. Yeah, so this ram is air assist here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, tighten that up. So then we're actually we're so we're just gonna. Go until we get the lash out. Hitting stuff. I'm gonna move this okay, before it hits the ground. Okay. So scary. So scary. Get back in there, bud. Alright, so that's got all the lash out of it, so that's zero. So we'll just move this to zero, snug it up. Boom. And then uh we got a long ways to go. So because we're going 180, this is going to take multiple bites. So we'll have to go all the way out with the ram, let it back in, repin the die, and do that probably four times to get all the way around. But well, we'll watch the first bit, and then we'll just cut to it being done. Okay, here we go. Twenty hours later. Heck yeah, dude. Actually, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah, maybe five minutes. So we're at 180 degrees right there. We're gonna go a couple extra degrees because there should be a little spring back. Yeah, maybe so not much more than that. There's the indicator there at about what 182? Yeah, so you can see if you look down the pipes, they're you know a little bit closer than parallel now, so hopefully they spring back just a bit. Let's see what she we'll looks watch like. That. Oh, a lot of spring back. A lot but... of spring back, yeah. So maybe I think we actually gotta go a little bit more. Yeah, about 12, 13 degrees spring back there. Let's see. Wow. Looks beautiful, dude. Yeah. Basically no pinch marks anywhere yeah. on that thing. Oh, that's going to work out really well. Look at that. Yep. Well, I'm going to repeat the same thing about 36 inches down. And, man, that should be really cool. That's the plan, brother. Yeah, I like that. I'm excited. So, yeah, we can probably just bring it down here, level this out, and then bring it around yep. the same way. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Classic good tool bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Just finishing up the last bend here, bud. It's coming together. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to look cool. So I know you shot for a 36 outside to outside edge. Yeah, I went a little, I think it'll 
spread out a little bit under than that. Okay. I mean, that's probably 35 and a quarter. Well, you had room at 36, so. Dang it, I must have bumped the degree wheel. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Not a big deal. See if we hit the target here. Can't quite get the end of the tube. But... The official measurement. All right, check it out, man. Wow, you're deadly close. It's pretty freaking close. Pretty much dead on 36. I'll take it. We should see what a light looks like in there. Yeah, that's going to look awesome. So I think we sort of figured out the layout. There's the two racers and four XL, XL pros. pros. Yep, so I think we'll have the two racers in the middle, the four pros on the outside. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. That's going to look super cool. And so probably along the bottom there'll be welded plate, or maybe you just bolt to this. I don't really know the plan. Maybe. I wonder, maybe we can use the brackets that came with these and cut them up and weld them to the tube or something. Oh, that'd be smart. We'll figure that out. I think the first thing is we'll cut this off, make it a solid loop. I think I decided I want to keep a full loop. Yeah, that makes sense. Cut it, look. and then where you can weld it, yeah. And then we'll weld taps to it. To weld it, these. grind it down, the thing will look like a continuous loop. How do you make that? Nobody knows, dude. <laughs> Doug's favorite tool is back. The portable bandsaw. <laughs> Boom. Heck yeah. Loosen that up. Now uh, you've basically captured your bandsaw on there. <laughs> we'll get her. Look at that. Line it right up, dude. Tack that together. Heck yeah, man. Oh man, that is awesome. Yeah, grind it all smooth. Should be a nice little hoop. Mount some lights in her. Hoop? Dang. Should be a hoopty. the front of the machine suit Oh, that's a smart idea. Should be a hoopty. A hoopty? Not a hoopty. It already is a hoopty, man. <laughs> Come on, look at this thing. Yeah. The roof doesn't even fit. What a joke. Yeah, Come on, Doug. Right. Unbelievable. All the time in the world now. Can't even make a roof. Jeez. Cardboard, dude. Uh, what's funny is we've trapped the die. Yeah. I was going to ask you the plan for that. I'll just take the die out. Smart. Die, die, die. There you go. <laughs> it kind of looks like one of those like uh, spray bars people put on their intercoolers, you know, to cool the intercooler oh, yeah, down. Yeah. Oh dang, dude! Is that Is where you're putting her up there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hold it, Will. Give him the. Oh yeah. I like you want to see what it looks like? Yeah, sure. Got go ahead. Second. Yep. It's hard to imagine, but oh, no. black with lights, it's gonna be I sick. I'm into it. I'm into it. It's just exactly what this thing needed. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, we trimmed it off, so we're gonna match the two ends of the tube up. So kind of clamp them down to the table, clamp them all together, so they're nice and in line. And I think that's gonna be good enough. So I'm just gonna put a couple tacks on it, pull it off, look at it, make sure it all looks straight. Give her a go-ski. So all the haters talking about fuel tanks being on the welding table. Obviously, we got rid of the fuel tanks before we welded. Everybody relax. We're all good. That bottle of acetone is totally empty and it's full of scrap. Not any acetone in there. I think it looks pretty good, man. They look parallel. <laughs> yes. Oh, wash your head. <laughs> really good, man. Think, yeah, man. The tubes lined up well, so I think we'll just weld that around and grind it smooth and. We need the master grinder here, a.k.a. Nick Seuss, a.k.a. grinds a lot, a.k.a. grinder till she's gone. Unbelievable, Nick Seuss. Where are you when I need you? Look at that beautiful weld jorb dug. Yeah, you know, it's just a tack job. Just tacked her all the way around, but it's all going to get ground down anyway. So we'll do that now and then start thinking about how she's going to mount on there. I think we got a rough plan, but... Uh, yeah, some tabbage. Yep. Looks pretty good, man. Maybe a couple high spots still, but overall, I think once it's painted up. Yeah, you run that on the bottom, never yeah, be able to tell. Nobody's gonna notice that. So really cool. Heck yeah, dude. Well, you've made one continuous piece. Amazing. <laughs> Nearly a Mobius strip of steel. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited, man. I think the next thing we're gonna have to do is get the lights in it. Mm -hmm. So then we can understand where it needs to be positioned exactly, and then do the mounts afterwards. Yeah, there's a lot of logistics there with the lights. Yeah. Maybe weld those mounts in like you were saying. Yeah, so I think that's the next thing to figure out. Get the lights in it. Alright, so the plan is coming together. We just got back from our local Ace Hardware, figuring out how we're going to mount the lights in this hoop. And 
you know, I looked at just making some simple tabs and welding them to the welding them to the hoop. But the thing is, we want to be able to maintain the aimability of all these. So we want to be able to tilt them up and down. We want to be able to twist them side to side. So I think the best play is going to be to use the Baja Designs bracket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this flat stock that we just picked up and we're just going to weld some tabs nicely. And it'll be about two and a half inches long in six places to give us a flat surface and then we'll just come in and bolt boom to them so very exciting yeah and then a hoop support on the middle probably right yeah so we were thinking you know these are pretty beefy lights they're very nice so if you put six of those on this bar granted it's not very long but that's going to be a lot of mass just hanging on it and the support's going to be out at the ends to mount it so I think we'll go in and put at least one vertical. Maybe we'll put a vertical between each light just to tie the two halves of the hoop together to add some strength. Be very official looking. Super official, man. So yeah, if you haven't seen one of these things, I'll flash up a picture now. And this is kind of what like the uh, guys run on the big old school trucks. And when we first thought of the idea of Battlefield, we were going to do some more old school kind of... Uh, things to it which didn't end up happening because the logo was so freaking good yeah. but this is maybe our homage here and still overall just like the ideas for it to just kind of be a tough rugged do-all machine right so this will be a tough rugged light bar for it it works out maybe a tough baja designs light bar yeah <laughs> there on. is the setup brother yep that's the idea so we'll cut all these tabs and then we'll just fixture this thing up on the weld table to make sure the tabs are at the right height to put the light, you know, in the middle of the of the bar, and then we'll mount them in there so the face of the light is just behind the face of the tube. Drill them all, weld them all. Be a little tedious, but I think it's going to turn out nicely. So maybe we'll see once this is all done what they feel like. We might go in and put a little gusset underneath these just to strengthen them up a bit. But you never know. Good tube, good steel, bro. Determine that when we get there. Ah, look at that. So Doug has uh, put a little bit more work into figuring out the mounting solution. So talk about that real quick, Mr. Battlefield. Pretty simple. So what we're going to do, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, I think, was just weld tabs on so we can maintain all the adjustability. So I went out, figured out the spacing, you know, to keep the light centered vertically in the, uh, in the hoop. And then also, you know, what our spacing between the lights is going to be. Marked it all out. Now we just got to weld the tabs in. So then once we weld the tabs in, we'll come in and we'll mark each tab, you know, the correct distance from the face of the hoop to make sure each light is kind of, you know, flush with the front or maybe recessed just slightly. Drill our holes, mount them in, and then uh, move on to mounting it onto the razor. So I think it'll go fairly quickly from here. Things are kind of making sense now. So This is one of those things where you see it and you don't think it's going to take that much work. And then you attempt to fabricate it and realize, there's a lot, a lot going on with this thing. Yeah, it's all in the little details, man. Making the big hoop went super quick, obviously, you saw that. But just making sure they're all spaced right. And if you don't do that, the whole thing just looks janky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. But yeah Pretty this is so far, man. I like the, yeah. I like the look. It's going to be sweet. Like This will be like a nice protective bar. And it will also just look Baja level. Yeah. Which is basically what you're going for. Yep, yep. That's what I want, man. It's going to be tough looking. So, yeah, bust the welder out and start uh, melting things together. Time to weld this bad boy. Give her a little tacker. Sort of an awkward position there. Godspeed to you, bud. Yeah. Looking good. It's a little bit tough to hold these square to the tube, so I think I'm just going to tack each one and then check that it's reasonably square. That makes sense. To be such tedious, but yeah, I do When you want a good end product, these are the things you have to do. Yeah, yeah. Really think this could turn out nice. So, so we're getting pretty close to done here on this bad boy. Doug's just finishing up the last little finish welds on the last two tabs, and then uh, probably let this cool off for a little while. <laughs> it's probably a bit warm. <laughs> and then uh, maybe just hold it up there. See what we're looking at. So Doug has flipped these bad boys over and he's now welding the bottom side for extra strength, dude.
pretty freaking good. All the tabs stayed pretty flat. I tweak them out a little bit to square them back up, but I think that's going to work. So just got to obviously go through, touch these all the grinders, smooth them out. Each one's got to get uh, just one hole in it for each light mount. And then uh, we do our vertical bars and then weld some mounts on it. Yeah, so I'm not sure we talked about that yet, but we got this uh, Nick Seuss walking uh, in the hey, door. Hey, good morning. Good to see you. Looking good. Here's super. Dang, new roof rack. Oh, tight, 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 yeah, tight, tight, tight. That's a yeah. super nice coat you're wearing there. Thanks, Let me man. see that. Hey, listen, I got you this wheel for all your hard work. Oh, interesting. It's almost as Appreciate if I ordered that. that. <laughs> Look at that skirt, Oh! Yeah, that's fresh on the blog. Unbelievable. Don't even set it down anywhere. Yeah, you're right. Look at that it's coat. safe inside of here. Well, anyway. Let me take this somewhere. Okay. We, uh... <laughs> We're going to do crossbars, and I say we, I mean Doug, is going to do crossbars in between each light here. Yeah, so we're a little, we weren't going to do that at first, but we're a little worried about six of these lights just with all the mass on this lower tube. So, got this 716, it's solid, but you know, it was laying around and it's not that heavy because they're just short pieces. And we're just going to put verticals in between each light. I think it'll look cool. That's the Baja look anyways. It'll make it all tougher, stiffer, tie it all together. And then uh, when we put our mounts on, I don't think we'll have any issues with her, so. What do you think about that? How did you loop that like that, dude? <laughs> Nick bent it over his knee. Yeah. Old I got pretty knee round knees, see that? Uh, Hold your knee up. Hey, old round out. knee, Yeah, dude. your knees have got a little bump in it. <laughs> Just. Yeah, not even close, right. actually. Back to work. Okay, see you around, man. Bye, Moss. We'll give out rides. Right. <laughs> So we've got some crossbars here that Doug uh, cut up yep. so out of that bar and boom. Got a little mark and attack that, square it up, tack it in the top. Starting to come together. Tacky tacky dude. That is getting somewhere good bro. Let's see if we're oh, wow. doing good things here. Turns out Douglas. You've been doing good things for many years. <laughs> but you're on a high list of good things these last few weeks. <laughs> Look at that. That's going to be really, really, crazy, really bright. Crazy bright. Maybe the brightest that's ever been. That's going to be the brightest light bar ever created. <laughs> Between the light bar and the mirrors on this thing and pretty good stop headlights, lights, I have a lot of light. <laughs> Doug left Lamas last year with this. I need more light. I never left them. He said this. I'm gonna get more light. And he got more light. I was frustrated in Glamis <laughs> last year, not being able to see. Like just the coolest place ever. Riding at night, something we don't get to do and just can't see. It's such a basic problem, but not that easy to solve. You know, when you're out there. So you twist a couple of those suckers, you will have light for days. <laughs> yeah. For hours. For years. Yeah. Really infinite aimability as well. <clears throat> yeah. So just gonna leave these one posted on the bottom and just be able to. It's gonna be sick, dude. Heck yeah, dude. It's gonna look good. I'm proud of you. I'm excited. Thank you. Times have passed. Oh, hey. We went to get lunch. I drank too much. Now we're here. Did some other things. Can't talk about those yet. It was a good time. But? Now we're back. We made some little lower mounts. We got this thing sort of fixtured where we want it. And uh, just gonna tack them in place. So. We just took, took some tube, we flattened the uh, ends in the press, gave them a little bend, gave them a little grind, got them fit in here. So. I don't see nothing wrong Time with a little bend and grind. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Got the Hobart over here, ready to roll, son. Sketchy setup. You got yeah. this, just right on that seat. Come on now. Weld blobs. Come on now. Great work overall. It's good heavy tack, you know. Let's go around and do the other side. And then uh, two more mounts, I think. So we're going to do some longer ones, like from the top of the tube back to this mount. So Boom. It'll be a substantial light bar. A few minutes later.
look at that. Holy crap, Doug, this thing's almost ready. Wow, they're almost like uh, parallel a little bit. It's kind of cool. Yeah, working out pretty decent. So, I'm gonna redo that side a little bit. Turned out okay. This side turned out real nice. Wow. Tacking it in right now. Wow, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Couple lights in there just to really show them what it looks like. Sweet. Yeah, well, yeah, I had to do that to make sure my uh, upper bar. So when I first did that bar the way I wanted it, it was interfering with the light, so. Dang it. Had to rework her a little, but that's the way it's gonna be. It's pretty HK, dude. Yeah, I'm happy with it, man. So after I get this tacked in a couple spots, we're gonna be pulling it off, and then we're just gonna start, you know, finish welding and rounding corners and smoothing out and drill the rest of these plates and. It's gonna be like a three day long project here. She'll be ready for, for paint, man. Paint, uh, you know, grind her out, send her off the paint, dude. Yeah, this is a, it's a long one. Got a few hours into this now. Looks sweet, though. It's worth it, yeah. I'm gonna send this one to its home. Early the next morning. Shake it, Doug. <laughs> it's day, uh, Bugs. Three million. Yeah, whatever on this uh, project. We've been doing lots of other stuff. We've been riding, we've been working on other things. So getting back to this thing finally. Shot it up with a little prime off camera. And uh, we're going to hit it with some custom black satin rust-oleum. Just because I'm too impatient at this point to send it out and have a nice paint job or powder coat job done on it. I just want to get it on the machine. So Nothing wrong with that. We got our custom uh, painting fixture so here. Paint booth, yep. Uh-huh. And uh, just gonna lay down a nice paint job on it. Do a nice, uh, you know, <laughs> wet coat, you know, whatever. Uh, That's all right. We've all spray bombed stuff before. This thing is gonna live a hard life hitting trees and stuff, so. If it ends up turning out really good, get a real paint job done on her. Yeah, I can always get that done down the road. You're actually doing a bang up job there, Duggo. I like it already. <laughs> this is like Seuss dropping my door. I'm such an idiot. Nice paint job. At least this wasn't actually a nice paint job. Oh, I so. feel so bad. I go to sit down on the swing. Idiot didn't even notice that this thing was on the... I'm really sorry. This is everybody's dude. fault. That should have never been set up the way it was. Very <sighs> janky. Let's see the custom inlaid so oh jesus that's a real shame but <laughs> i'm really sorry it'll wipe off well i've uh spent some time sanding off all the <laughs> grass brought it back to life man. really sorry <laughs> no big deal it's funny man uh so we're looking at wiring so we went and grabbed this nice uh coated 10 gauge dual wire red and black wire from a local automotive store and I think we're actually going to try to do this kind of nice and run it up through the cage so you can see the bungs that we used are drilled for wire so that's stuck up in there so we'll drill a hole in the top of the cage with a grommet so the wire will pop out here. I'll be what on the inside here? Yeah I'm in the process of making that decision now I'm not sure yet so trying to decide whether I'm going to go ahead and hard wire in uh, all six lights to a chunk of this or if I'm going to keep the connectors on each, which we could do, we could wire the connectors in and make a harness, but then you end up with a whole bunch of, you know, zip tied up bundles of wire on the roof. So, or you could just do one. Starting to think about that. So yeah, I'm thinking about hard wiring in all the lights to this and then putting one connector, you know, yeah. so you can remove the whole assembly. That makes a lot of sense. All right. I think that's probably the play. I agree. So anyways, yeah, so we'll hard wire the lights into this. We'll probably just strip this back and solder each one in, you know, to make it nice and clean. And then uh, that'll run across there. There'll be a connector over in this corner. The wire will pop down here. We'll go uh, through the fender. At some point, we'll put in a connector probably under here so that the uh, cage can come off if it ever needs to in the future. And then, uh, yeah, we'll pull power over here. We got a little relay. We got a switch that matches the, the stock switches. And Good work, dude. Make them work. So, I'm excited, man. They're going to be bright. Get these suckers wired up, and then... Uh, it's going to be silly. Wait for darkness. It's going to be the brightest machine we've ever had. That's going to have 
far and away the most light that has ever lit any of our rides. <laughs> so the lightest light that the two have ever been lit. You know, level of necessary for a lot of our rides, probably not totally there, but we do a lot of riding in the woods at pretty high speeds on, you know, with two-way traffic. And when we're doing that, like, I'm always running with all my lights on. Yep. And that helps tremendously, helps people see, you know, when you're coming. And by doing that, despite all the miles that we've ridden and how fast we've ride, we ride, we've been able to avoid ever having any sort of, you know, head-on incident with somebody else or really even, you know, being close, having close calls. You know? Yeah, because you can it's see just, through the woods pretty well with these. Yeah, you can see through the woods. People know you're coming, you're watching, and, you know, it's just never a problem. So it'll be good. In the middle of the day, you know, they will uh, be seen. So we'll use them for sure. On to the wiring, bud. Yep. So got this bad boy all repainted up. She is looking 110 beautiful. We got the uh, RS1 supercharger uninstalled. Uh, we're using that for some home activities. And then Doug in here is just working on some wiring at what is basically an electrician level of beauty. At a snail's pace, trying to do this nice, it's going to take a while, but... This is the beginning. So we just kind of laid the lights out. I'm going to try to, you know, tie these all in and make it a nice large harness. So Larness. Got the first one soldered up, putting a little shrink tube on her. And shrink it up, bud. I'm going to go through all these connections very slowly, one at a time. So, so this is the stuff that's got like a glue in it. So it kind of seals the connection all up nicely. Sweet. And then we'll, uh, of course, we'll, you know, tape it all up when it's done, too. So it's going to take some time, but I think it'll turn out nice. So when all this is done, we'll, you know, install the lights in the mount in the light bar from the back side, mount the light bar on the machine, and then uh, take the rest of the wire and fish it down through the cage. So. Beautiful. It'll take a while. <laughs> Looks good, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy, man. It's going to be cool. I have never seen a more expensive light bar in my life. <laughs> if you add in, you know, your work time with that cage, which is, you know, invaluable, so that's already a quintillion dollars plus, you know, what are these, about 300 bucks a light? Yeah, it's a $47,000 light bar. <laughs> I'm, okay, that's an exaggeration, but... No, yeah, I got quite a bit of time into it at this point, but I, I really, I really like it. Like, it's really, uh, it's really cool, in my opinion, at least, so. Yeah, so we haven't seen it assembled yet, and so this has been a multi-day process. So when I left yesterday, this is the next day now, uh, this was still wet and had to dry a bit, so. It's dried now. Doug bolted it on before I got here this morning. You guys have seen the wiring, and now he is uh, using a wire to pull through the entire harness uh, down through the cage, and then out through the bung, and then to the power. Yeah, man. So it's all just like roughly bolted up there right now. It's not tightened down. None of the lights are adjusted yet. We're just working on fishing this wire, as you were saying. And we were able to push the wire down to here very easily, but it was difficult to get it to pop out of this, and I couldn't really get access in there to try to pull it through, so... Next plan, we fished a wire up. We've now got the wire connected to the power wire for the bar, and we're going to see if we can pull it out of this. This will absolutely work. This is going to be your classic first take kind of deal. So I guess after this, man, it just uh, you got to figure out how these things are going to be aimed. So we don't exactly know uh, what to do in terms of aiming them, but I think... We'll probably do like a nighttime deal, and I think there might be different beams on these things that throw a little bit differently. So we can aim the ones that we want out far and ones that we want close, and yep, yep. boom. So speaking of beams too, we haven't talked about this yet, but these, so each light has three wires. So you got two power wires, a main power and a ground. And then there's also a little green wire that's a control wire that you can wire to a switch that actually allows you to dim the lights. Whoa. So I didn't do that. So I didn't wire the control wire. These things are just going to be full on or full off. But depending on your situation, you have that option. So if you've got oncoming traffic or, you know, whatever, certain situations where you want just a little bit less light, you can throw the switch and, and dim these by 50%. So it's a neat nice. feature. Nice. <laughs> I think every electrician that watches the blog is like... They're thinking, I've been here, this sucks. <laughs> they can relate. Yeah, if anybody tells you this is ever an easy thing to do, 
Or there's like a way better way to do it that we don't know about, some sort of trade secret. Feel free to comment that below. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be easier if you just drilled another hole, you know. Oh, yeah. A more accessible spot, but when we get this, eventually, after some number of hours. Oh, it's came through. It'll, Boom, dude. It'll be good. Did the actual wire come through yet? I saw the tape, so oh, that's yeah. good. Check that out. All right, Nice. Cool. And so one thing that I don't know if we actually mentioned, oh, I think we did, about this wire, though. This is an encased wire that's a power and ground in one. Yep. So it's actually a bit cleaner than running separate power and grounds. Yeah, I like it, man. It looks, uh, it looks good. It's 10-gauge, uh, pretty heavy stuff because we've got some pretty serious amps running up here. So there it is, man. So now I think we'll probably just try to tuck it through this fender. I've got a lot of stuff in here already, but... Figure it out, we'll tuck it through the center, we'll run it under the hood over here, and we'll get her wired up. Add your relay, add your switch, and then it'll be light time soon. Heck yeah, dude. Wiring. Sort of messy, mostly due to these. Anyway. We'll, we'll work that out later. But. Switch is in, dude, and this is like a real Polaris looking switch. Pretty sweet. And uh, it should be time to see these bad boys light up. So we've not tried them, no. classic blog here. Confidence level is probably 85%. That's it. The relay is one that I pulled out of the toolbox. It's been around for a number of years. I know where it came from. I'm not 100% confident that it's good. Do you know where it's been? I do know where it's been. <laughs> I've been in good places. <laughs> so, we'll see though. Let her rip, dude. I'm excited. So we're going to key on. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sir. Oh my gosh, you can't, you can't stand in front of it. <laughs> it's brighter than weld. It's brighter than welding. It is so bright. I feel a little bit of heat, believe it or not. It is so bright. Whew. Wow. Oh, they throw some heat, man. They yeah. throw a little heat. Yeah, wow. You got LEDs throwing heat. Dude, you're going to melt serious. that. Turn it off. <laughs> These are hardcore. Wow, man. Cool. Very happy. Nothing seems to be smoking. Nothing's melting. Everything's uh, working well. And they work. They're pretty intense. So do a little aiming, tighten everything down, zip tie the wires, make it look nice. Wait for nighttime. Hardcore, dude. Heck yeah, man. These look sweet as hell. All the lights. <laughs> the saddest thing about this car is the stock wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, do something. I do need to get a set of wheels on it. Email okay. somebody. Somebody email us. We Come on. Some silver in them, maybe. Yeah, we'll take care of that. But anyway, Man, time being. That's awesome. Well, let's just go ahead and cut to the old uh, nighttime shot. You ready for it? All right, let's do it. Boom. Is that good or in his foot? Oh, there That's you go. That's good. Oh, dang, dude. Oh, it's perfect. Looks great. <laughs> Guys, this is this is many moons later. Unfortunately. And so we have taken some time to make sure this setup works good. Nick, show them the stuff. And uh, turns out the whole bar and lights are right freaking totally insane, dude. It says right there what the light bar and setup is. Oh, it's yeah. super pro. pro. Probably got a lot of bugs on it right now. Well, yeah. It's, you know, it's been used at this point. He's but, traveling, dude. So we're, traveling. Yeah, we're about a month later and we're finally ready to show you how crazy these lights are. So, Doug, first of all, <laughs> give them the high beams. Okay. So give them the lights. Give us a low beam. All right. All right so there's, there's a low. Low beams. Not so bad. Not headlights. bad, honestly. Decent, decent headlights. Okay. I'm pretty impressed by that. All right, okay, so high beam. Here beams. comes the high beams. Okay, not bad. Not bad still, dude. For some stock lights, pretty they're doing a pretty solid, good job. Pretty they're shining OEM headlights. 300 feet, maybe. Yeah. I mean, you could see the... You, there's a light. There's a pole out there. You could see the pole. <laughs> decent. I know, I know how funny this okay, is. Okay, just... <laughs> you guys give them the full beans, dude. Okay, here we Ready? Go. Ah! Boom! <laughs> there's a tree line Oh, my out there, God. Dude. It is hitting the trees. Those yeah. trees... Gosh, I don't even right. know. Two hundred right. yards? Right, right, dude. Right. Two hundred yards? Right, right. Yeah. Like, it's a it's a stream of lights. It has made it to the point where, like, if they're aimed correctly, you know, the air is clear and all that, you're not out. You you're not gonna outdrive the light that you have. Heck you're not no, dude. Drive your headlights. That is sensational. They will just, you know, I've been in some clear spots where there wasn't trees and stuff, and I mean, it's like. They shine for miles. They're yeah. absurdly bright. So, and also, like I've been pretty impressed because, like, 
Nick was saying, we've trail ridden it a bunch. They've gotten really muddy. They've been full of bugs. I've just power washed them super duper hard, like directly, yeah. you know, getting bugs off of them. These are good lights. Any issues whatsoever. They're super good lights. Super good lights. I'm just going to stand back real quick and try to get yeah, like this whole. Here, dude. Like, come look at this over here. Like, it is so bright. It lights up the field. <laughs> it's so bright. You want them off again for comparison? Yeah, do an off and on again. All right, there's off. I oh mean, my gosh. Oh my turn god. Turn off the stock headlights. Yeah, like... everything off. Dude, you can't even <laughs> see it. Turn, turn, like turn them on and off. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, they're, making, <laughs> they're like fog lights. It yeah. like makes the stock headlights fog lights. All right, so turn the stock headlights off and the bar and the bar off. All right, okay, we're right. in pure black bliss. Let it rip. Oh <laughs> my god. That's impressive, man. Like, that's super impressive. These things are great. So yeah. thank you to Baja Designs. And, uh... Yeah. Hope this unbelievable level, level of lights. Freaking lights, man. Like, yeah, this is. Uh, we should. You know what we should do? What's up? We should go for a night ride. Yeah. Yeah. We used to do that uh, in the winter before the blog, dude. When we couldn't ride in, in deer season, we would go on night rides during yeah, the winter. For sure, man. It's it's really it's really fun. Really fun thing to do. We don't get it to do it as much here, but the last time we went to Glamis, what really solidified my appreciation for really good lighting. Oh yeah. Because we went out there, had a bad time you know not being able to see and uh you know seeing what you're doing especially in conditions like that makes all the difference yeah. it makes the experience safer and just better all around yeah. so yeah one That's more crazy. thing we should compare is the sector sevens yeah. really nice set of lights yep sector sevens rip okay so let's give them the sector seven okay probably so, has to be on hmm. yeah maybe it's a maybe it's ignition on that's fine. Yeah, it's on. Let's see. Here's the thing. I think the switch. The switch is broke? For the Sector 7s. Okay. All right, that's our fault. Anyway, no big deal. We didn't test that prior. What we're trying to say is this. They're bright Thank as Thank you, Baja Designs, <laughs> for these lights. They are bright as yep. all H. Yep. Yep. And uh, we can't right, wait to do a sick night ride. Dude, they're covered in bugs. We're not getting anywhere near the full oh, jism no. here. Yeah, they're not clean. We oh just my yanked God. him out of the barn and said, hey, we need to film this, the end of this video. Yeah, wow. <laughs> give us a little drive around to see this. Yeah, thing? give us a drive, okay, dude. Right. Oh my God. That is, a, that is a level of light that, like, it is straight. We've not, look at that. He's shining houses that are a quarter mile away. That's an unbelievable. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this, look at this. Oh! oh sorry about that. You can almost feel it. I, I think I felt heat. Yeah, you can almost feel the heat. There's this is here. <laughs> for real, no, for real, dude. I feel like I'm in a solar flare. Don't do that, dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, wow. No, it's, uh, I really enjoy it, man. Like, I've sort of got a thing for lighting now. turn them off. Just point right at the dude's house. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. There's some bushes. Actually, that guy doesn't live in there. That okay, bush is going to catch on fire. Oh, man. Yeah. Love these things, though. So thank you again to Baja Designs. I uh, really appreciate this. This is great product. We've, you know, really pretty fully tested them now and uh these are these are great lights so thank you uh thank you to everybody that watches all you guys out there who are watching these videos who subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that that helps us tremendously when it comes to forming these kind of partnerships and giving us the ability to test these kind of products and tell you what we think about them and thank you to everybody as well who buys parts on the parts site thank you to everybody who donates to us on patreon all that stuff is uh you know comes together and allows us to to do these things for you so we appreciate it big time we'll be back a couple days from now we're doing three videos a week so make sure your notifications are on and we'll see you in a couple days stay tuned bros take care hey you think this thing will throw flames that night mm, interesting. just give her a quick couple revs dude just like a little like a, like a bonus clip open that shocker up dude not a shocker captain's choice yeah see flames there listen listen i tried to make flames evo clearly tries to keep flames away which is probably a good thing <laughs> Turns out yeah. it's tuned really well and just doesn't make oh, flames yeah, that okay that's a good point too i guess we'll see you guys later see you can't guys. see a dang thing bye